an unbiased coin is tossed an infinite number of times the probability that the fourth head appears at 10th toss is dash options have been given to you 0 0.067 0 0.073 0 0.082 0 0.091 and 0 0.53 so what is the probability what is the probability that the fourth coin appears at the 10th toss and an unbiased coin is tossed how many times infinite number of times now i think many of us get struck at this point itself that who is going to take it infinite times see probability is all about number of favorable cases by total number of cases here the total number of cases are infinite cases because it is being tossed infinite number of times but then that's a catch i mean that's that's a way to trap you right the point to be noted is we have to find out the probability that the fourth head appears at the 10th toss what happens after the 10th toss is not our lookout we are not worried about that it's not our concern we are only looking at what happens at the 10th toss or we are trying to get some desired result at the 10th toss what is the desired result the desired result is the fourth head the fourth head should appear at the 10th toss are you getting it so from the 11th toss onwards we don't have to worry about it so this infinite actually is only to confuse us this infinite in this case i would say is equal to 10 because we are looking at the 10th toss suppose he says the fourth head appears at the 17th toss infinite will become 17 for us because after 17 what happens we don't care we are looking at the 17th toss right we are trying to get a condition to be followed by the 17th toss so 10 tosses let's say toss 1 toss 2 toss 3 toss 4 toss 5 toss 6 toss 7 toss 8 toss 9 then toss 10th what happens in the 10th position is fixed we want head to come in the 10th position in how many ways can this happen are you able to follow we want the head to come in the first uh, tenth position in how many ways can this happen this can happen only in one way or, or let me put it the other way right what is the uh, what is the output desired in the tenth position it has to be a head now when you're tossing a coin there's only one way that you can get the head see probability of getting a head is one by two but we are not looking at probability we are looking at number of favorable cases remember probability is number of favorable cases divided by total number of cases right so we are trying to find out the number of favorable cases we are not worried about uh, you know i mean you can say that in this place the probability of getting something is 1 by 2 1 by 2 1 by 2 but we are not going to multiply the probabilities there right let's find out the favorable cases so i know that the 10th position can be filled only in one way there are 10 places the 10th position can be filled in one way see place here is nothing but or position here is nothing but the toss so 10th toss only one output is possible which is head this can be done in only one way what happened in the remaining nine cases in the remaining nine cases we want six tails and three heads see this is the fourth head this head is the fourth head so obviously before the 10th toss how many heads have come three heads have come before the fourth uh, tenth toss there were there were three heads and remaining six are tails that's it so in how many ways can you fill this there are nine positions six boys and three girls six boys and three girls in how many ways can that be arranged there are multiple ways right it can be head 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 tail 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 and then head or it can be head tail head tail head tail 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 you are able to follow the different cases there so in how many ways can this be done so what's the number of favorable cases see total it's it's like this try to correlate this with total nine persons total nine persons have to be arranged in nine positions out of these nine persons six are boys and three are girls so nine persons can be arranged in nine positions in nine factorial ways six are boys and three are girls remember identical persons of course for boys and girls we don't do it but let's say there are nine uh what do i say there are nine uh objects to be arranged in which six are identical of one type three are identical of the other type like like uh, nine books to be arranged six are quantitative aptitude books three are reasoning books so total number of ways of arranging nine books in nine places is nine factorial but six are quantitative aptitude books identical so divided by six factorial three are reasoning books all three are identical divided by three factorial so this is the number of favorable cases what is the total number of cases see understand the first place can be filled in two ways second place can be filled in two ways third place can be filled in two ways the fourth place can be filled in two ways and so on the tenth place also can be filled in two ways total number of cases the total number of cases are two into two into two into two into two ten times which is how much 2 power 10 that's it he's asking us to find out the probability probability is number of favorable cases so 9 factorial divided by 6 factorial into 3 factorial whole divided by 2 power 10 simplify this now so this will be like 9 into 7 into sorry 9 into 8 into 7 into 6 factorial divided by 
6 factorial as it is will get cancelled 3 factorial is 6 into 2 power 10 is 1024 right 3 factorial is 6 so simplify now 6 and 6 factorial 6 factorial gets cancelled I think calculation is your lookout right I mean this is 3 into 3 3 into 2 2 into 1 2 into 4 12 and then 7 is this divisible by 12 uh, 960 plus 64 it's not divisible by 12 right let's let's uh, actually we have to find out decimal values right so let's not do worry too much about cancellation find out what is the numerator 3 into 4 12 12 into 7 84 84 by 1024 84 by 1024 yeah so if you take the denominator as approximately 1084 by 1000 will be 0 0.084 somewhere around 0 0.08 answer should be around 0 0.08 so clearly option 5 option 1 option 4 is also cancelled it will be actually less than 0 0.08 less than 0 0.08 i mean less than 0 0.08 meaning less than 0 0.084 if i if i assume the denominator to be 1000 it will be approximately 0 0.084 but the denominator is not 1000 the denominator is 1024 denominator is more so value will be less less than 0 0.084 less than 0 0.084 there are two options but i think it should be around 0 0.08 only right the range will be that so i can say option 3